Hello, in this video we will see how we can navigate from one page to another page within a page. What I mean by this is if we have a page which has four portions and we want to navigate to another page within a specific portion like this. Then we navigate to another page in the specific portion then so forth. And we will add some buttons so we can navigate. So here is our live example. Here is our first page in which we have a red page. We click on red page and we go to green page. And then we click on green page, we go to purple page. Then we can go back to green page and we can go back to for um, red page. Then we can go forward and we can go to home page to the red page. So how we can do it? It's pretty simple. We go to file new project and we will see sharp windows store app blank app name our application something and uh, let's do it some frame navy and click ok and it will create some files we will uh, start by main page dot xml and right double click the main page dot xml file now we will have divide our application into four portions which we have seen here it has four portions 30 percent uh, on the right on the left side basically and 30 percent on top and the remaining portion is 70 percent so to divide our screen into 30 to 70 uh, ratio uh, we define the columns without column definitions and we uh, specify the column uh, width 0.3 means 30 0.3 static means 30 percent of screen and we can uh, write it like this which means self closing and copy and paste the code like here and one static one static means the remaining of 30% which is 70% now we will add and define some rows which is grid dot row definitions and specify the row height uh, row uh, definitions definition then height height 0.3 static which means 30 percent on the screen self closing and then we define row definition height one static which means the remaining portion of the screen which is 70 percent now we will look at our application and it looks exactly the same now we add some frame in which we can data load some pages so here is our frame how to add frame in this portion in the last portion in this portion we add frame um, write the code frame and name of frame name is like container container, container and uh, specify its background color like uh, red color and where we want our um, frame to appear column number one and now we will add the row number where we want, want to our frame to appear this is our frame and here it here it is mm -hmm. What's the problem? Here is space. So here is our container. Now we will add some uh, pages. Right click project, click on add, then new item, blank page, and uh, let's uh, page one and and uh, we want our page one which is 
green name color let's change its color green uh, we want this green page to be loaded in this red portion if you click on local machine it will show us red color but we want green color to be there so we double red page so green color so here is our main page.xaml.c sharp is a file uh, which is loaded when the application is executed so we write the code this dot loaded which means when the page is loaded when the page is loaded go to this method which we can create automatically by double tapping the tab button this is not working yes here it is now we can add code the name of our the name of our frame which was container then container to we want our container to navigate to something type of uh, the new created newly created page page one and here it is container.navigate uh, now we want another page uh, new item blank page the third this is basically third page so we name it page three page three and uh, change its color to say purple purple color so here it is now let's see we have two pages linked third one is not linked uh, here is our green page and we want a button in the green page from which we can navigate to third page so let's create a button in the green green page which is right here so let's create a button I'm going to toolbox and let's see buttons and here is our button Mm, yes double click this button and specify uh, where you want to go we want to go in the frame frame to navigate to something type of type of uh, page 3 mm -hmm. page 3 so yes we can navigate from this page to the third page the first page is loaded on which green page is loaded on the green page we navigate to the third page which is purple in color now we want uh, these buttons right here on the first page from which we can navigate to other pages so let's add buttons and go to page one uh, main page and we want buttons in this uh, position so write the code stack panel and uh, add some buttons stack panel is basically to uh, group similar things buttons and content go forward forward and when the click event name is button forward underscore click you can name it whatever you like and uh, let's make it self closing copy and paste double click and change forward to let's change this one button home 
and change it to home. Forward button is fine. And change it to back and change this to back also. Now we have three buttons in our position. So when the forward button is clicked, we want to go. Let's see if we can help me. When the forward button is clicked, we want our uh, container to navigate navigate to something type of uh, mm, forward button page one page one this is uh, good uh, this is not good basically because uh, if we have more pages we will have to specify the name of each page so what we do here we write if uh, container can go forward can go forward which means that if the frame which mm, which is named as container can go forward to next frame then uh, we want a, a frame which is container to go forward that's it so the same way uh, we can write the code for our back button let's do it uh, copy paste this one to here and can go instead of this make it right can go back go back let's run it um there is some error can go forward can go back we haven't added the parentheses so let's run our application uh, frame does not contain a definition for button click it says that we must define an event for this home button so let's add event it, uh, let's add it later Mm, wait for it. Here is our first bird, first frame uh, on second page, third page. Let's go back. Let's go forward, back, forward, and the home button is not working. Let's put it to work. Uh, go to main page with ML, home button, and write code like while can while container can go back um, it will loop through frames and will go back to initial uh, initial frame and we write here container dot go back that's it this is our whole code and let's change position to something 30% margin so we can see it clearly it is our final product and yes first page and second page we can go back we can go forward we can go back to home which is green in color pretty simple thank you